Back to the gridiron. The Rams defense got a fourth and one stop inside the red zone. Then Matthew Stafford connected with wide receiver Demarcus Robinson for the walk off 39 yard TD to earn Los Angeles four and four a 26 20 overtime win over the Seahawks on Sunday. The Arizona Cardinals are in first place of the NFC West after a 20 point win over the Chicago Bears. The Cardinals are the only team in the division currently over 500 after stringing together three straight wins. All right, daddy boy, talk to me. What is the Rams ceiling this season? Oh, the Rams can win the whole thing. If they stay healthy, they can win the whole thing. Oh, Super my Bowl. goodness. They a- absolutely can win the whole thing. If they stay healthy, this is a team that has a phenomenal offensive line. They got to get healthy there still, interior-wise. Their pass game is as good as anybody's in the league. When they have both Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua, their, their pass game is dynamic. Stafford's playing just as easy, just as good as he did last year. Their run game with their two backs. Kyron Williams is one of the most complete backs in the NFL. And let me tell you about their defense. I think their young defensive line is the best young defensive line in football. Dude, Byron Young, Jared Verse, Kobe Turner, Brown, they got really Hoyt, they got really, really good young defensive line. They gotta stay healthy, specifically on the perimeter. Both of those guys matter. They don't have a lot oh, oh, Large wiggle room for error, but this this whole this team could absolutely win the whole thing, absolutely. And I think they they firmly believe that. Yeah, yeah that I, I I think that's a bit ooh, ooh that's a that's a bridge that I'm not willing to walk on. Um, do I think they're a playoff caliber team? I absolutely do, but I don't know. You believe you telling me they you believe they can go to Detroit and beat Detroit in that building? No, I don't believe so. They lost I'm not so sure they can won. beat San Francisco. I'm. I'm not so sure they can beat the 49ers again if the 49ers are healthy. That's the team. Now, the question is, is Christian McCaffrey coming back? How healthy can they keep Debo? Uh, Juwan Jennings is supposed to be coming back. We know Ayuk isn't coming back. Hopefully, after a week off of the foot uh, Kittle was dealing with, is better. But I think the 49ers are, are a team to watch out for. I just don't know if the Rams have that kind of arsenal of a both offensively and defensively. Yeah, they made a great comeback last night. That was a great throwing catch by uh, 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 Stafford to uh, Marcus Robert to Marcus Robinson. But to win the entire ship, the whole ball of wax. Nah, that's that's a, that's a bridge I can't go over with you, Dio. I'm gonna roll with Shannon on this one, Dio, because I, I listen. I, I, I love me some Sean McVay. Uh, I love me some Matthew, Matthew Stafford. The brother can ball, no doubt about it. He's a gamer. Um, and Puka Nakua, I mean, I won't forgive him for being the ringer on Shannon's crew during the Celebrity All-Star Weekend <laughs> when him and, 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 and Michael Parsons ran over Michael. men, women, and children. Michael Parsons ran over men, women, and children. They should, I mean, it was ridiculous uh, what they got away with. Just ridiculous. They brought football to the damn basketball game. But in the end, the bottom <laughs> line is this. When you see the weapons that they have available, you can't sleep on the Rams. I get that. But there's nothing about the Rams that have knocked our socks off that makes us say – you can roll up into Detroit and beat that team. Maybe Philadelphia, who's got 22-point leads in the third quarter and damn near blow the game. You know, you can have stuff like that, uh, you know, against a team like that. But against a team the likes of the Detroit Lions, I don't see something like that. I, I have their ceiling as being the NFC championship game, assuming they can run into, they run into the Detroit Lions and then they go home. I mean, I love you guys. They went to Detroit and lost week one in overtime. I mean, they lost in the crazy. playoffs last year too, Dan. Don't forget that. So, by by single score, Stephen A. Though no, I'm like, just saying, I'm just saying that I think they would lose. I mean, their ceiling is the NFC Championship game. I think their roadblock is Detroit and potentially San Francisco. They lost their best player on defense. So no, I don't do think understand. they're better. You do understand why we we'll pause and have a little trepidation when it comes to you picking Detroit, right? You do get that, right? I mean, what you said at the start of the season. I mean, you're in the analytical mode now. But at the start of the season, it's entirely plausible that you were caught up in your emotions for your former team. And that's why you picked them to go to the Super Bowl. It is possible. Or, or, no one picks more stuff right on this show. That's not true. That's not That's true. Not. That is not true, Dan Olaf. Yes, but, but you've been wrong on, on something. We gotta debate that another time. I got the top of the hour. <laughs>